Hello everybody and welcome back to Story of Seasons, Friends of Mineral Town. I, I, I don't think that the, the flowers are wilted yet, that's great. I just want to check and make sure that, uh, that... Oh no, we've got the craziness going on again. Let's give it a click. Yeah, okay. We're good for the recording now. <laughs> okay, so I've got all this cool stuff. I've got this... My frying pan is pink! Oh my goodness me! Recipes, we are starting to get loads more recipes. Fantastic. And the kitchen is slowly getting more and more stocked. So very soon there might be things. What day is it? Thursday. So Thursday is not a day where anything happens. Let's have a little check at the nature sprites. They all have four days left on their jobs, so that's fine. Do we have any kind of harvest? I think yams looks a bit today. We've got a little yam harvest going on there. I'll go get that in a minute. Let's let all of the, the dudes out. Oh no, you guys keep telling me off for brushing them while they're outside. I'll have to do that in the evening then. We also have uh, eggplant harvest. Okay, let's let the chickens out too. You're like, do not brush them outside. If you brush them outside, then that's a problem because it wastes time. I'm gonna brush B though, because so I might forget otherwise. We wanna have good relationships. Hey there, Jim, looking happy and healthy. Hello, hello. Mona, you're looking happy and healthy. Oh, I can put it in there, right. And I can see how many I've got left in there. Hello, Trist and Jin and Mona and Ixias. Hello. So, I think it's gonna happen tomorrow. And that is, I am going to get a new, brand new, super duper brand new, super mcduper mcwooper brand new, a little cow in my barn, which is amazing. I do need to save up still for the chicken coop uh, upgrade. It needs quite a lot of timber and stuff like that. So I'm trying to just gather as much as I can so I don't have to buy as much. Um, but if I get the money before I get the timber and the stone, I will buy some, because that's just the way I roll. I'm trying to harvest this all before, um... People were saying I can make chicken feed out of corn as well, that was another thing you were saying in the comments. But yeah, I want to get all this harvested so that the, the little dudes, they can, they can do their watering. Oh, it looks like they're all good. We've got loads of eggplant today. Wonderful. Need to learn to make some kind of ratatouille or something. But like I say, the first year is all kind of seems to be all about just getting your, getting a bit of money, getting your feet under you, getting a few little upgrades, putting your kitchen together, all that sort of thing. And then probably the winter will be about getting a, a, some tool upgrades and things like that. I've got a few tool upgrades. Only just got down to the level where you can get silver. Hoping to get enough food together that I can get gold but eggplants and yams are not very good just to eat and I don't really have a recipe that I can physically make with them right now so what I'm thinking with that is that I'm just gonna sort of sell these for now and get all my upgrades because it's a balancing act isn't it and then all my oranges that I'm gonna grow all the way through the winter I'm gonna take them down into the mines like loads and loads and loads and loads of oranges and I'll just be able to sit and eat them because there's no time limit what are you doing in my field of grass? See, the, the cows and stuff are just eating little patches. <laughs> so funny. But what I'm going to do is just let that grow wild and free as it wants. Try and clear it, like the area around it. And then probably as we get into the winter time, I'll sort of chop it into a neat little square. I'll probably keep it a bit closer to the actual barn. Uh, sort of somewhere between the barn and the, the horse place as well. Although they go everywhere. The animals go absolutely everywhere anyway. Right, let's go in and see um, see little little Miss Buttercup. Because I think she's got one day left. You must be so heavily pregnant. She ought to give birth soon. I very much expect to see that happening tomorrow. So let's give you some lovely fodder. I wonder what we're going to call your baby. But I've got my Patreon names up, so we will see who, who will get that honour in, in uh, probably a few minutes of the episode. Okay, let's uh, get some empty hands, pick up some of these weeds quickly, and 
It's only 2.40 and is it anyone's birthday? I haven't even checked. I haven't even checked and then I've got oranges to pick up and stuff as well. Whose birthday might it be? It's Karen's birthday. General shop with an egg. I, at least I worked out that she doesn't like honey. I'm not going to give her like something she hates on her birthday. I'm hoping she'll be in the general shop. That is kind of where she lives and stuff, but you know, it might not be where she is right now. But I'll go and have a quick look. If not, she might be down by the water's edge. She sometimes hangs out there. Is Karen in, guys? Yeah, she is, look. Hello! Hello, how are you doing? Good. Um, would you like an egg for your birthday? Wow, is this really for me? No way. Today's even my birthday. You knew? Oh, is that why? Thanks. That's so cool of you. You are very welcome. Um... Would you like some honey? Okay, you, you didn't seem too impressed with that, so I won't give you any more honey. Maybe you like savoury things too. But I've worked out a few things. I've worked out that Brandon likes honey. I've worked out that Karen likes eggs. I've worked out that I think Mana and a couple of the others, and Jeff, I think they quite like honey. So you generally, honey's quite good for a lot of them. Not everyone. Hey, you guys! Hello! Let's get some honey and some oranges and stuff and see if I give you some presents. Especially Plum, because you are really behind all the others, aren't you? Maybe because you haven't had your birthday yet, though. I'd love to be, like, really close friends with the, the nature sprites really soon. Well, I you can have it tomorrow, Zach. Like, seriously, I, I'm trying to pick things up here. I just haven't had a chance to put it in the bin yet. I've got things to collect. Oranges to collect. And honey and apples and... All these things that are growing in my field, all the eggplants. Have I finished collecting all the eggplants now? I think I have. I think I managed to do everything. So we've got, it looks like we've got peas and chilies and things coming up really soon too. But I'm not like killing myself to get things um, to get things harvested and and to and to grow tons and tons and tons of stuff to grow more stuff than these guys can cope with, like watering and stuff. Because there's no need. So we'll chuck it all in the shipping bin and we'll see what happens. And then I'll maybe... Uh, well, tomorrow will all be about my cow birth. But then maybe later on we can... Uh, happening tomorrow or the next day. So probably it'll be next episode for the Autumn Derby. We can go put some bets on and see if we could get some more of those tokens saved up. It said, I'm going to have to bet really big though, like big amounts of money to get enough tokens to get like the power berry or the truth gem. So I'm thinking that that might actually be something better left till next spring or next autumn. When I do have a little bit more money in the bank, I've done a lot of the upgrades I want. I've got more and more things coming in from the animals, etc, etc. Then we've got the doctor's birthday. Then we've got Carter's birthday. And then we've got the Fluffy Festival. I, I hope that that's for sheep and alpacas and stuff like that and rabbits. I don't have rabbits yet, that's the only thing I don't have. Uh, but we'll we'll work on that once we get the coop upgrade, I, I am thinking. Uh, I'm going to sell the weeds as well. Sell all the weeds. I still have one piece of silver, like, so that means there's still one upgrade to go. I don't know if I've got something in for an upgrade at the moment. My hammer is silver now. So, I've got a silver hoe and a silver hammer. I'm thinking we could maybe do with a silver watering can, just so that I can upgrade it to gold quite quickly. But I'm thinking that it might be better just to wait for the winter for that, because we've only got, like, another 15 days or so, and then it will be winter, and then I don't have to worry about watering anything or doing anything. I just have to worry about having enough fodder and chicken feed. That's it. So, I think we're going to go to bed. It was quite a quick 10 minute little day, that one. But it's fine, we got a lot done, we got a lot sold. Well, we'll get it sold later. <laughs> but I got I got to put it in the, in the, in the fishing box. Sh fishing box in the shipping box. I'm just excited about my little calf. Please. No calf? Where's my calf? I want my calf. Give me my calf. Where's my calf? 
Where's my calf? Let's give birth soon. Ah, <sighs> buttercup. I didn't even brush anybody else. Because I was so excited about you. I didn't I didn't brush or feed any of those animals. They went outside to eat, which was nice, but we did we should have brushed them. At least. And you're looking rather fluffy, Skewiff, so you're looking a bit like you might want a clip today. You're definitely looking fluffy, Casey. Absolutely. Okay. So had a little chat with everyone. Bubbles, hello. Do you have strawberry milk today? You had a nice time outside earlier, so you may well. Where's my milk We're gone? There we are. Yay, good job. Okay, cool. Um, yeah, so clippers, and I think we want to give you a clip. And I want to give you a little clip. Lovely stuff. Yeah, I can't wait to get my calf. It's gonna be really, really cool. So close now. So, so close. Okay, so I can go and. Oh, I shipped an egg. Oops. Didn't mean to do that. Um, in fact, I want to see how much I'm actually selling all these things for. So 120 for that one. 400 for that one. 420 for that one. So it's like every time they get clipped, it's like 800. It's really good. The egg is for like just 50. I should make that into a hot spring egg, really, but half the time I can't be bothered because <laughs> I'm so lazy. Those flowers, how much do they sell for each? Ten each. I'll keep them then. For gifts and stuff like that. Honey's good for gifts as well. And the orange jars. The orange jars I am keeping for my secret winter plan. Of filling my entire inventory with oranges because I have lots of inventory slots now. And what I'll do is I'll go down and I'll slowly fill, like, eat the oranges and then fill up my, my bag with all the... Uh, with all the space from eating the oranges, I will fill up my bag with, 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 with ores. Yeah, that's the word, ores. And then we'll try and find ladders. People have given me some good indications of um, where to hoe and where not to hoe. Apparently, according to comments, you will never find the in the in the edge. You'll never find it on an edge tile, and you'll never find it within a couple of tiles of the the ladder. So I'll I'll leave the space like one tile around the ladder. And then all around the edge, and then everything else will be will be will be fair game. Now it's nobody's birthday today. It's no it's no nothing today. So really, I can just spend some time on the farm harvesting my stuff, not worrying too much about going to see anybody or being too social. I do like to be social. I like to give Brandon honey when I can. I didn't give him any yesterday. Um, I do like to try and be good with that. The, the sprites, honestly, once I've harvested these green peppers, I'll see if I can give the sprites some honey. Because I think they deserve it for all the hard work they put in. And I would like to get to the point where I've given the sprites enough um, to get them up to a really good level. And, uh, and then I'll work on the villagers a little bit. But it doesn't seem to take a, a ton to get people up in social. So I reckon in you know, a couple of years we'll have everything where we want it. And considering like I've only been playing this a couple of weeks and we've already gotten through like the first <laughs> the first year nearly. I don't think it should take too long. I'm doing, I'm doing something like six days per real life day at the moment. So every five days I'm getting through like a season basically. Although last couple of days I know I haven't quite put up as much as usual. I've had some problems with um Things like booking some flights that Avax had to book and he's it's all gone a bit wrong and there's been some stuff going on with that. So yeah, it's just just needed a little more time. I'm trying really hard as well. At the same time as a lot a little bit of stress going on in, in personal life and, and, and organizational life. I'm also trying really hard after this illness I've had to get lungs back up to full capacity so I can sing and walk upstairs without being at all out of breath and run and jump and climb trees and all that sort of thing like I like I normally do. So I'm out on my bike a reasonable amount now. I'm trying just to get that lung capacity back and, and everything. So hopefully when all the gyms are things open I can go and start lifting weights again. Which would be amazing. I can lift them at home but I don't have like I like to use bar like the bar rather than dumbbells and I'm not liking the workout I'm doing at home compared to what I'd be able to do in the gym so I would much prefer to be there. 
And then I can swim and have a sauna, a steam room, stuff like that afterwards. Although I don't know how much of that is going to be available, like, when it does reopen. Obviously, Scotland, it hasn't reopened yet at all. Okay, I think I have picked up everything I need to pick up so that the, the sprites can do their thing. They've got, like, three days left, so in a couple of days I'll need to just go and see their friends up in their little place and... Oh, let's go put stuff in the box. Uh, oh, no, actually, I'm going to give the presents first. You're welcome, pumpkin. And we'll have a chat as well. Keep up the good work. Another honey for blueberry. You're welcome. And keep up the hard work. And for plum. Oh, aqua then. Um, aqua, come back here. I want to talk to you. And then plum. Where's plum? Hello, plum. I'll give you some honey. There we go, lovely. So, how are we doing with these little little dudes then? Let's have a look. Nature sprites. We are still at seven with blueberry. We are at six with pumpkin, five with plum, seven with cherry. Five with aqua, no, six with aqua, six, six. Ah, oh, so Plum's still behind on five, but, you know, we're getting there. There's only, like, a few musical notes to get now. I don't know if it gets harder, like, the higher up you get, but we're doing really, really well with the nature sprites, I feel. I feel like we might even have them to sort of nine or ten, so at least some of them, maybe some of them will be at ten by the end of the winter, I don't know. Depends on how much I go to see them in the winter. I might neglect them a bit in the winter time. Yay, 15k! Right, how how much lumber and stuff do I have? Oh, I've got, I haven't put anything in the shipping bin again. Typical. Look at me go. Well, I'll stick it all in. Those beans were actually quite good, weren't they? For um, certain things. So I'm just going to put in that into the shipping bin. In the green peppers, they were rubbish. But the beans were actually pretty good just to eat. If I remember rightly. I might have a little look around the, the place as well. So we've got 29 of those. We've got 90 oranges. We're going to have like 100 oranges now. 108 oranges. We've got 36 apples. 21 honey. We've got 26 honey actually, sorry. I'll keep some of the honey out because I like to give that away. We also have some cooked foods. I kept the chilies probably just for cooking with. And I've kept some green peppers as well. But we've got mushroom rice. Oh, it says the stamina on it. I'm such a muppet. Those little hearts, that's how much stamina it is. So four for a yam. And it's 10 for an orange. Two for an apple. Two. 30 for raisin bread, which is amazing. And these guys are... The Adzuki beans are only three. Okay. What about an egg? A regular egg is three as well. So all these cooked dishes are like 30 each, which is amazing. But the oranges are 10, so I think really it's keeping the oranges. I don't think... I could keep yams and stuff like that a little bit just for some cooking, if I, if I want to. I don't know what recipes I'm going to get coming up. Bread is only two on its own, but as soon as you put it with a grape, you suddenly get up to 30, which is amazing. So yeah, grapes are so good. But I need some more recipes like the, the mushrooms, uh, the mushroom rice. Because I can then just go buy some rice from the shop and combine it with the mushrooms I find. So talking about that, let's go for a little walk, shall we? So I'll get another thousand or so tomorrow. And we'll just go find any any lumber that's around the place, any, any grass to pick up, all that sort of thing. Just go have a little, little look around. So there is actually some lumber that I can get here, look. I want to just slowly save it up, save up any any stones or rock that I get as well. Uh, there's another one there, look, and another one. Nice. And then eventually I'll take it along to uh, the, the carpenter's place and we'll get a chicken upgrade. Oh, there's loads of stuff here. Loads of tree stamps. 
Loving it, because that means I can get a chicken coop upgrade with less money having to be spent on lumber. Because that's, every time I get one piece of lumber, that's like 50 gold saved. So that's amazing. I would have more if I understood how to split wood earlier on and I was selling all the sticks, but don't worry, we'll catch up, it's fine. It's cool. Another one of those poisonous mushrooms, which sucks. Uh, that, you can't get that stuff, that's part of the house, I think. Hey, Jennifer! If it's, um, their usual conversational topic that I've read a million times, I probably won't read it out anymore. I've gotta be honest. We could burn the mines if we wanted, but I think we're saving that. For, we're saving up all the food for a really big spelunk. More chestnuts. Lovely. I think the tree stump that allows me to go through here is a level three. So that's a... No, that is a silver hammer, is it not? Just a second. Yeah. Hang on, let's see. How much stamina do you have, Sheila? You're looking a little bit, a little bit woozy. Okay, we're going to come back and do that when I've got some more stamina tomorrow, I reckon. That's cool though. We got a lot of lumber from that, which was really nice. And I'll get some stone from those, moving those stones out of the way as well, which is really cool too. Yeah, I don't have enough time to go sitting in the spa to get more stamina, so I think we'll just head home and go to sleep and see if a calf comes in the morning. What if it doesn't come this episode? I'll be so sad. But I guess, I guess pregnancies can be variable, right? <laughs> Right, let's go in the cabinet and see how much we've got now. So we've got not much, not much. We've got 112 lumber now and 12 stone. So I may need to buy some stone, but it looks like we've got like nearly enough lumber. I think it was only like something like 150 we needed, which is so good. Keep some red grass for cooking. I'll keep the poison toadstool thing for cooking. I'll keep the chestnut for cooking. Look at that one honey away because it's annoying me. Go sell that those weeds because they're annoying me. I like to keep my inventory clean. You may have noticed. So, wait. no, don't sell those. Bring them back. So I think um, I'm just kind of keeping things for for feeding and stuff like that. But I'm going to need to go and buy some more chicken feed. I've been really bad at that lately. Okay, so tomorrow is also a nothing day. Friday, what was on the TV on a Friday? Nothing. I think it's Saturday. Monday and Tuesday that are the days that I really need to be looking at it. But I haven't even seen home shopping on a Saturday and I think it might need a TV upgrade. Which I've got, I need to use my money for other things right now, so. Here we go. Hello, a calf was born. I better give it a name. Oh, who's it gonna be? I think it's gotta be Lolly the calf. My family just got a little bit bigger. I have to keep working hard to take good care of everyone. So if I go and have a quick look at the calves now, I want to see. Lolly came out at six heart potential. So it's gonna be exactly the same. Unfortunately, each one of these is going to have to be cycled. <laughs> ah! Up to 10 hearts. So we're going to need like five generations of cows to do that. I mean, Buttercup, I've managed to get Buttercup up to like quite a few hearts. And it will be really sad to lose Buttercup, but I think Buttercup eventually will have to go. Um, so I'm going to have one of each type of animal. I may get a coffee calf and one of the other fruit flavour cows eventually um so we'll have one of everything and then like i say i'm going to just slowly um get them pregnant grow them up go through the cycle again and again and again and eventually get like those 10 heart cows but that's how it's gonna go so yeah awesome happy happy she lab let's see if hello she lab we'll be holding the autumn derby at 10 a.m sharp in the plaza tomorrow if only you had an adult horse on your farm, I'd have loved it if you could have entered it and supported the event. Well, I don't. Bee is taking a very long time to grow up. How much does Bee like me? Bee likes me... Oh, actually, you're a pet, aren't you? 
one heart still. But I talk to B every day and I brush B every day. But no, B only likes you one heart. How dare you, B? But where even is B? I am aware, by the way, that I haven't checked around my farm very much, other than in that water shop. Oh, sorry, sorry, B. Wrong, wrong thing. Uh, we want the brush, don't we? Brush. Um. There's a good little one. Hurry up and go strong, okay? I really hope I'm allowed to keep the eventually. On a bit weedy around here, hasn't it? Right, let's go and uh, go and brush all the animals, and then we can let them all out for the day. Because, like you guys have said, it time stops when you get inside. So, let's go brush everybody. I wasn't brushing; I was brushing thin air there. I think. I don't remember if I've brushed bubbles yet. And screw with, and then Lolly, the little calf. Right, okay. So now I do actually have, I could, while we're waiting for Lolly to grow up, which will take about three weeks, right? That would be enough time for one of the others to get pregnant. So I'm thinking. We already have pregnancy kits for the sheep and the llama. Sheep and alpaca. So maybe we'll do an alpaca breeding. Maybe we'll just round robin it a bit. Let's give them a break. So alpaca breeding kit. Huh? Nothing happened. What? Why? Why? Maybe because we had a calf born today. I'll try it again tomorrow. I'll keep it on my my hot bar Right now I've done I talked to everyone as well. I want to talk to everyone Bubbles Buttercup Lolly Being healthy Well and in good spirits. That seems to be the alpaca and, and calf thing 26 bushels of fodder left. Guys, I need to get out, okay, so that you can get out and eat. So if no one's pregnant today, then that's nice in a way, because it means that everyone can come out and eat outside. And I can, oh my goodness, I've got so many eggs to pick up, oops. <laughs> right, let's let you guys out. And have a chat to you all. And I need to work out who who needs to. Mona, Ixius, Jin, and Trist. I don't think. Oh, hang on. They are all ten heart. Lovely. So we don't need to incubate any more eggs. They're all going to eventually get there. Just need to talk to them every day now. Jin, Trist. Mona and Ixius. So yeah, they're, they're all going to be egg producers really soon and as I manage to get them more and more and more like happy with me and loving me then they will start to hopefully produce bigger and better eggs which will hopefully translate into bigger and better things like uh, mayonnaise and cheese and stuff like that once I start getting makers. I don't really know, I've got some stuff, some like um, adamantium or amethyst or some, some like purple blocks anyway that, that are used for that purpose. So it's an interesting one. I do wonder whether I should plant more grass somewhere else. Keep the weeds away from the grass and just let them graze. Hopefully this grass patch is big enough. I should scythe some of it away and uh, pop it into the... Oh, that was the wrong one. It was this one I wanted to do. Man, wreck the corner now.
But like I said, once it comes to sort of winter time, I hope the grass doesn't all die in winter time. I shouldn't do, I don't think. But I'll probably just uh, neaten it into a little square and then pop it all in here. I shouldn't need to do as much hand feeding anymore anyway. They like me better if I hand feed them. But I am brushing them and everything like that and talking to them and etc etc every single day. Oh, you know what I don't need in my toolbox? I, I, I don't need a preserved flower. I need shears, I need my pedometer, I probably... I need my milker, I need my fishing rod. I need everything. I need everything else. I want to use the alpaca breeding kit tomorrow, so yeah, I'm going to need that too. We're only at one o'clock. Um, was it, but it wasn't a birthday today or anything like that either. No, that's fine. And it wasn't. As I said, I don't think you get home shopping on the the little TV. You finish your task for today. Okay, good, good little gnome thing, sprite thing. I don't remember what I was in the brownies. In the brownies, when you're a little kid, all the uh, all the the groups are named after like fey creatures, so like gnomes and elves and all that thing. I think I might have been a gnome. I've got a, I've got a feeling about that. I was that kind of kid. I wasn't the kind of kid that they'd be like, "Oh yes, you're a total elf." They'd be like, "You're you're you're a total Hufflepuff and uh, and a gnome." And <laughs> the worst sports group uh, we had the uh, Romans, Saxons, Vikings, and Celts for um, the sports day like teams. And the Vikings were always the worst. <laughs> and I was in the Vikings. I don't know why, because Vikings are pretty darn awesome, but in real life, but uh, yeah, I was always that. Um, I did brush everyone, I think. All of these guys, yeah, they all got a brush. Nice. I don't know if B got a brush today. B, where are you? B. You always wander away every day, don't you? You wander away. Hey, come back here. <laughs> Just making sure. Okay, I think B had a brush. So, I think now I'm going to take that stamina that I've got. And I'm going to go bashing some rocks. Because A, it'll be good for me to get the rocks. Um, there's also, like, there's always stumps around here that I can grab as well, by the looks of it. There's loads of flowers to pick up today, which is really nice. So there's a couple of stumps that I can still grab around here, which is very good. Because I probably do need another, like, three or four stumps worth of wood. But I want to also, I'm kind of intrigued as to what might be behind these big rocks. Sorry, this way. So I'm gonna go and like, there might be like a secret fishing area or something like that. that I think, was it Stardew Valley had a secret fishing area behind some rocks? I don't know how many times I'm gonna have to bash this. Ah, cool. Now I can go this way. What's up here? Super secret way. Oh, there's like a little mushroom there. Oh, that's one of the super super duper mushrooms. Level how? Why is there a rock there then? No. Whether it's just a super secret place where I can fish and get extra stone, I, I'm not entirely sure. Maybe it's a super secret fishing spot. got away okay something did bite though I have to wait a little I 
think I got something that time. An Amur minnow, 14 centimetres long. Interesting. But how much that's worth? Yeah, there wasn't a ton up there. Um, whether there's more secrets to be found, whether it's just a cool fishing location. Uh, not entirely sure, but it was good to get the extra um, the extra stone from it. Oh, my axe there. I can get all of these boulders now, so that will be really good for saving up for the chicken coop upgrade. Which I'm going to want really soon. It's my next big plan. I'm super happy to have my little calf though. Oh! Cute, cute, cute. And it is nearly Derby Day, I think, as well. Uh, right, so I... It is 12.50. And I think I need to do another day because it's only 37 minutes. I don't like to be, like, less than 40. It's annoying when it's, like, literally two minutes less. But it seems so short then, doesn't it? Maybe that's just me. Right, so today is Derby Day! So I want to go outside and do all my bits and pieces. I want to see if there's anything new in the shop, that sort of thing. Um, get any harvesting done that needs to be done by 10 a.m. Which is a lot of stuff. <laughs> Why does this always happen on, on these days? I don't know. My goodness, I just get any weeds that are around the grass patch. I'm not going to worry about anything else. And then I will pop in my barn and I'll go see everyone. Hello, Lolly. Hello, Casey. Hello, Buttercup. Hello, Bubbles. Hello, Skewiff. Right, now, can we make Skewiff pregnant today? Nothing happened. Are you like a boy? <laughs> Is that like... Do I have to have a certain friendship level? Buttercup got pregnant really quickly. Definitely the alpaca one. I will have to look up why that didn't work. I might go and grab the sheep one and see if that works on Casey. Might be a certain trust level that I need to get to with them before I can uh, get them pregnant. Although I'm sure Buttercup was no more than two hearts. Might be two hearts though. Let's see if anything happens with them um, with Casey, the little sheep. Nothing happened there either. Right, okay, let's have another look at them and just they should be mature. I'm sure they're mature. A mature sheep and mature alpaca. So maybe they need to have their full fleece on. Not sure, but I'll go. I'll go and do milking and stuff. Ah, that sucks. So now I get two milkings a day, which is nice. A strawberry and a normal, and then I just need to brush everybody. Then I'll go in and talk to the chickens and then I'll let them outside to eat as well. Okay. I have a lot of stuff to pull up today. Oh, it looks like the, the yams we did did the yams yesterday, right? Oh, or more yams. We have yams like every day. That'd be kind of crazy, but right now we're getting so much in, it's amazing. 
I don't know what I'm going to do in the winter time though. I'll have no money for until spring. I'm going to have to make sure that I have enough money throughout the winter from like oranges and all that sort of thing. That I can like keep myself um, keep myself in, in, in money, enough money to buy spring seeds basically. But I should be able to do that hopefully with my animal produce. Where you have three seasons to prepare, but I'm definitely going to spend some time down the mines. Absolutely. Ah! Let me harvest. And those flowers are just one shots, which is fine. Probably just sell them or give them away as gifts or whatever. Head across to the Derby. I really want to just get this harvesting done before I go, but I'm hoping I don't miss it. <laughs> Bag is full. Okay. Should I head back into my house a second? I'm gonna put a few things in the cabinet. So that's where all the lumber should be going. In fact, I might even put that silver back as well because I'm keeping that. No, uh, maybe shouldn't be. Uh, the oranges, and the apples, and the eggs can maybe go in there. I've got a feeling eggs are going to be a really important one for cooking, so I'm just kind of keeping them by. Um, the fish as well for when I can eventually make sashimi. I don't have any eggplant in here at the moment, so I'm going to put some in. Well, some more yams, but I just I'll sell the higher quality ones. Um, and then I want to keep that mushroom because I'm going to be baking some mushroom rice with that one, no doubt. I won't keep the milk. I get milk every day. I get eggs every day, but, you know. <laughs> How much need can there be for strawberry milk? Um, right, so I'm just going to quickly get these peppers. Like I say, I just want to make sure... I'm not going to pick up the oranges until I get back from the festival. But what I want to make sure is that, like... All the animals are sorted and all the harvesting is done so that these guys can do their watering. It scares me though because the festival's only a certain amount of time too. Uh, and they have to be outside doing this harvesting. Everything else time stops for. But I'm nearly done. Oh, I might just have to accept that I'm going to have to water the other patch. Please don't get in my way. Like, I really am in a hurry here. No, come on. No, no. No, I just want that last one. Okay. Everything else kind of got watered. There's some eggplant left. I'm gonna have to water them myself. It's like two o'clock already. I think it only runs till three. I might miss it. Oh, no, no, where's my exit? Ah, I'm getting really panicky now. Why did I have to have such a big harvest right now? I think it runs to three. I've got this horrible feeling that I'm about to just miss it. Oh no, it's still there. Cool. Yay. Have a chat to everybody. We. Grandpa gave me permission to take some time off and come today. I'm going to head right over and buy a ticket. Oh no, nice. he actually got to come this time. I think I'll buy a race ticket this time. Hmm, I wonder which horse I should pick. Cool, the horses. So most people have the same as they had last time. What lovely weather we're having today, just look at all the horses. Miss Lilla, Lilia wanted to see the horses, so I came along, just in case. It wouldn't do if her health took a turn for the worse. I'm hoping some fresh air will help her feel better. Nice. Whenever this event comes around, it gets so excited, I can't sleep a wink. Did you remember to buy some tickets? The mayor's selling them if you're interested. I will. Seems like it'd be quite pleasant to ride a horse. Races are an opportunity to see the horses everyone has raised. Yeah, that's all the same. All the same. 
Michael and Nugi. Okay, Mr. Mayor. Are we ready to start the race? Yes. Purchase tickets and start the race. So remember, we've got oh, we've got some really good odds on this on everyone. So Yeah, get this. We're guaranteed to get ten times in medals what we what we paid. It could, we could end up with like a good couple of hundred medals here. Add an extra few to the twenty-five times one. Just, just on the off chance. Okay, let's go. Eclipse rose apple and steel. So I'm hoping one with like the, the really low odds will win, but we'll see. Red is lagging behind. I have bets on everyone though. Eventually this really is just a case of exchanging money for medals. So once you get really rich, you can just plow a load of money into the race. Blue! Which one was blue? I never remember what I've betted on. Apple was first place. Um, Apple was 12 times, so we got 120 medals for that one. Very nice. It would have been nice if Rose had won, but uh, it was not to be. Any okay, medal surprises? I could get definitely get some nice birthday presents for people. Purchase tickets to start the race. Let's see what kind of odds we have on this one. Okay. I'm gonna put something like five medals on each one that is high odds and hope that Diva doesn't win. We don't want Blue to win, okay? Anyone else can win except Blue. I've got a feeling Blue's gonna win though, which is why I didn't put tons on the rest. Eva is ahead! No, red is coming up! Oh no, oh no, blue is... Oh, red won! Yes! Oh, she left. So Ryder won that one, so I get... 5 times 15! Lovely, we've got almost 200 medals now, that's amazing. We have a third race. Okay, I've spent about three thousand here, which is ridiculous. We've got some really nice odds on this one, provided Holly doesn't win. So I'm going to do another ten tickets on each one again. This will probably be the last race I get today, so. This is what you need to do, spend a few thousand on it, spend like a harvest's worth on it. But I expect that by next year I'll have way more like money by spring. No, by sp maybe not by spring, but by next autumn I'm going to have tons of money. That'll probably be where I'll get all the, the really nice prizes. I may just keep the tokens, save them up. I can't remember what the odds were on blue. I well, feeling that was the, one of the NAF ones, wasn't it? Seven times, so I just got 70. That sucks. Like, if I had managed to get, like, 480 off Clyde winning or something, that would have been amazing. But we've got 261 medals currently. And I'm going to keep those Derby winnings until spring. I'm not going to even touch them. I've got big things that I want to save up for. So, I want to go do some selling. I want to... Oh, the chickens didn't get let out. 
Ouchie. I wonder if I can still do that quickly. I was getting so stressed out though that day, so I'm not going to worry if they have one day where they didn't get fed as much. Hopefully even being out for a little bit will be enough for them just to get some noms. We'll see. I might not get eggs. That's, that's the worst that will happen, I think. Um, I'm going to have to water these pots because... And these as well. Didn't manage to harvest them before the derby day. It's just unfortunate sometimes. Festival days do get a little bit in the way of like all the harvesty stuff that you're trying to do. Um, it would probably be good to have one of the nature sprites doing the harvesting towards like the end of a season. That might be a good thing to sort of start doing. As they're getting trained better in the watering, I don't need as many of them at once to do the watering. And I'm getting more of an idea, like, how much I can plant and get away with it, you know. So let's fill up this old water can. Um, probably next year as well, I'll be able to do a lot more watering myself. Because I have a gold watering can, which is a 3x3, three three, which will be so nice. 1x3 isn't too bad. 1x4 is a bit annoying, <laughs> honestly, because then I've got to change all of the the way I do things, the way I like things to be. Um, obviously when I get the one time, 27 times, no, the 9x9, nine nine, which is like really, really huge, the, the mythic one, then everything will change. The whole layout will change, but then, you know, but then I'll be so rich, who cares? Oh, that's silly. Don't think I'm going to be like bashing any rocks today necessarily, maybe I could. Maybe I could. But some of these rocks are level 3s. So I'm going to be able to get a lot more of them out of the way now. And then once I upgrade my axe to silver, which I really should do very soon, actually, I think. Maybe next episode I'll do that. I reckon I can get this one as well. If it, any of you can hear dogs barking, I do apologise. Next door's dogs have uh, seen a squirrel or something, I don't know. <laughs> I get very excited, bless them. So that's a level 5. That's a level 3. That looks to me like a level 5. Ah, oh, that's a level 5 as well. That's a level 4. Oh, that's not too bad. That's like... Level four is just gold, I think, because level three is silver. Yeah, so level four. So a gold axe would be a good one to, to aim for. A gold axe and a gold watering can. What are you? Oh, level five. Of course you are. You're right in the middle of the farm, so of course you're level five. These two look to be level three, though, which would be really cool to get them out of the way. That's a level four as well that's a level four so when i have a gold axe i'll be able to get this whole strip here clear which as my sprites get better at watering i might be able to put in another strip of uh of fields which would be really cool but yeah i won't be so unhappy about like watering things myself when when i can do one whole little field of that in one go that would be so much easier than having to do it in three goes but anyway I think it's time to go to bed now. We had a whole new little calf and everything like that. I've got an inventory full of stuff, which I really should be putting away before I go to bed. I've also got oranges I haven't picked up. Ah, so much as I didn't do today. Well, they're going to keep those flowers for presents. I was, I think. I want to definitely keep the stone. Sunsweet flower. Oh, of course. Is it inedible, but it can be shipped? And I will ship my milks. Yeah, another 4,000 in the bank. That's basically uh, replaced what I spent on the... Uh, oh, it's 3 a.m. I'm going to have a terrible time tomorrow, aren't I? Oh, that derby really, really messed with my schedule. Um, but yeah, tomorrow... Sorry, uh, 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 what was I even saying? I don't know. Oh yeah, I replaced the money that I basically spent at the derby on getting those tokens. And now I have like 250 tokens. I'm a quarter of the way to getting um, 
enough tokens at one of those to get myself either a truth gem or a stamina berry i'm kind of thinking i might go with the stamina berry first i think the truth gems are gonna probably be a little bit more of a long haul so let's get in here i'll put my oranges and apples away just been fastidiously saving them up and now i've got like 126 um i will get to the point very soon where my inventory is going to be too full with all that stuff so i will need to start um looking at how to sort of sort that out those away as well. i mean if i'm going to give those as, as presents though i probably should have some in my inventory I like the fact that was a, a true magic red flower. A true magic. A flower that sometimes comes from magic red flower seeds. Blooms in autumn. Inedible, but can be shipped. Hmm, interesting. But I now have three of the truth gems. I think you only need to get nine. And I know that there's one that I can buy for 50,000. I know that there's one that I can get at the horse race. So I know where five of them are now. So, I've just got to find a few more around the place. There might be some more, like, if I look around the farm, if I just have a really good look around, I might be able to find another one around the farm somewhere and maybe another one around the village somewhere. Um, but I'll have to just really... When I go in a place, I'm going to have to really start looking and clicking on every lamppost and every bench and every, every feature. I mean, what if there's one in my house? Oh no, my flower went out of my vase. I should put that back in. I should put another one in. Oh, actually, I do have flowers that I can put in there. Let's put a sunsweet flower in there. There we go. All right, okay, so that's the end of the episode for today. I hope you enjoyed, and if you did, then please do leave me a like below. If you'd like to see more Story of Seasons, Friends of Mineral Town, then please subscribe. I'll let you know when the videos are out. I hope to see you next time. In the meantime, do please look after yourselves and keep being awesome.